welcome back to another episode of Speed UHC on the Zone. So today, it is Thursday, I wanted to tell you guys about something really stupid that happened to me on Tuesday night. I don't even want to make a video about this because I'm admitting how stupid I am and it's a really embarrassing story, but I decided that I should let you guys know because although it is embarrassing, it was also very, very hilarious. Oh, I'm sorry, Bun Bun. I didn't mean to knock you down. Uh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> that tree already cut itself down. So like I said, this happened to me on Tuesday night. Lately, Tyler and I have had a bad habit of not keeping up with our grocery shopping, as in we'll often end up where we have no food in the house or nothing to drink, and then we're screwed because we live in the middle of nowhere, and we have like a little mini grocery store, but it closes at like 9 or 10 p.m. every day. So if you're up after that and you need something to eat or drink, you have to go all the way into town, which is like 20 minutes away. And we don't want to have to do that in the middle of the night. So Tuesday night, we had food in the house, but we had nothing to drink. And I have like this weird phobia of tap water. I don't know why. I just can't drink water from the tap. Like if you make me lemonade with tap water, I'll drink that. But I won't just drink the tap water by itself. I just never have. I don't know why. I have to drink bottled water. Hashtag first world problems. So Tyler and I were planning on getting drunk on Tuesday night just because we wanted to. And in order to get drunk, you would need a chaser. I mean, some people don't use a chaser, but I'm a pussy, so I need a chaser. And we had nothing to drink in the house. So I had asked Tyler if he would go with me to the store so that we could get something to drink, maybe a snack, whatever. And he agreed that we would go in a little bit. But then we both fell asleep at like 4.30 p.m. because we're old. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I woke up at around 6.30 and I didn't want to wake Tyler up because I know that he hasn't slept very well lately. And I wanted to let him get as much sleep as possible, so I let him sleep until about 8.30. He finally started waking up, so I was like, alright Tyler, let's go. Let's go to the store like you said we would. And now, since he has slept and taken his nap, he decided that he did not want to go to the store anymore and I was going to have to go by myself. Now, I didn't want to go by myself because I hadn't taken a shower. It was my day off. I didn't have a bra on. I was in my pajamas. I was just planning on going with him and sitting in the car while he ran to the little gas station grocery store. But he didn't want to do that anymore, so I decided that I would just go by myself and run down to the Pizza King by our house because they have a soda machine outside, and I was just going to grab a couple of sodas from there. Ah! Ow! Ow! Skeleton's hacking! Look how fast he's shooting! Stop it! Jeez Louise! Take your arrow though, thanks. Ooh, hello! I'll take the pickaxe, I guess, but everything else kind of sucks. Thanks, Minecraft. So, I get up. Like I said, I'm wearing a blue hoodie, no bra, my purple leopard pajama pants, my hair is up in a ratty little bun because I haven't taken a shower. I have like yesterday's makeup on still smeared all over my face. I wasn't planning on seeing anyone. I was going to run down to the gas station, or not the gas station even, to the soda machine, get a couple sodas, come home, get drunk and watch TV, and go to bed. Ow, can't move. Ouch. So I got in my car, my freezing cold car, in the snow, in my pajamas, also wearing some flats that have a hole in them, and drove down to the Pizza King to the soda machine. No big deal. Nobody was outside. No one was out and about. It's like 10 p.m. on a Tuesday night. Everyone's asleep because they have to work. Nobody was bothering me. No one was going to see me. It was all good. Now, first of all, I get out of my car. I walk up to the soda machine through the snow, and it won't take my quarters. For whatever reason, it decided today that it was only going to take half of the change that I brought, so I could only get half of the amount of soda that I wanted to get. So that was already a struggle in itself. It probably took me like five minutes to get three cans of soda because I had to keep reinserting my change over and over and over again. So finally, I had a few sodas, that was good enough, and I was on my merry way. However, I decided, since I was supposed to be getting my new debit card, and I still hadn't gotten it yet, it was supposed to be there on Friday, I should probably go and check out my P.O. box. So I did, and it was there. Very exciting stuff. However, 
on my way to go get my my mail from the P.O. box, kind of a big stupid accident happened. So I decided when I was leaving the Pizza King that I was going to go behind the Pizza King because I saw some tire tracks in the snow and it looked like there might be a little road between the Pizza King and the post office. So I decided that I was going to take that shortcut rather than going out in the road and turning right and then turning into the post office. I would have to back up to do that. Like it was just more trouble than it was worth when I could just go straight, take this little shortcut and be at the post office. So that was what I opted to do. I followed these tracks and I started to take the little road behind the Pizza King. However, ow, would you stop? I'm going to lose half my hearts. Come to find out, there was not a little road behind the Pizza King. Well, there is, but it's the alleyway behind the Pizza King, not the road that I was trying to take, because the road that I was trying to take did not exist. Whatever those tire tracks were, were from someone that had pulled up to that spot and backed up or turned around to get out of the Pizza King parking lot. So now, as I was driving, I drove straight over a curb, probably about a foot in the air. And at this point, I felt a big, like, bump, a big snag. I heard a loud noise, and my car was stuck. I tried to go forward, I tried to go backwards. I could not go anywhere. My car was stuck with the two back tires on the ground above the curb, one tire on the ground below the curb, and the other tire just in the middle of the air. Thank goodness I had brought my phone with me, because I wasn't planning on bringing my phone with me because it was almost dead, but I had decided to bring it with me for whatever reason. So now, after Tyler already did not want to go with me to go and get a soda, I had to call him to tell him what I had done. So I called him, told him my car was stuck, he was mad, he got out of bed and came to help me, and when he got there, he just started laughing. <laughs> I expected him to come and yell and scream at me, but instead he was laughing just at my sheer stupidity. He could not comprehend how I had been so stupid, how I had managed to get my car stuck on this curb. Why in the hell would I be driving there? Why would I not just take the road? Why didn't I just take the alley? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but the fact of the matter was, now I was in this situation, my car was stuck. What was I supposed to do? So he got out some oil cans from his- Ooh, diamonds! He got out some oil cans from his car. He got out- Oh, you are lucky you did not blow up my diamonds. He got out some oil cans from his car. He got out his spare tire. We tried to move the little, like, speed bump things they have in the parking spaces. Anything we could to get traction under my tire. And nothing worked. So at this point, we were kind of at a loss for what to do. If we left the car there, it was going to get towed regardless, and then I would have to get it out of impound. If we called the towing company, we were going to have to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get my car pulled out, and we could not afford that. So, we didn't really know what to do. We tried calling the police department. No one answered. We tried calling the police department of the town next door. No one answered. So Tyler decided that he was going to try to contact the police and he should go home because he had to work at 5 in the morning. He left the other car there and walked home and left me to figure out what to do while he went and called the police. And on his way home, he happened to see the local town police officer, flagged him down and told him what had happened. So a few minutes later, the Otterman police show up at my, my location and ask me what the hell happened. I can't believe that he didn't ask me if I was drunk or make me take a field sobriety test because who the hell would be driving over the curb like that. But basically he told me there were- oh, hello diamonds. He told me there was nothing that he could do because legally he was not allowed to pull my car out. If I knew anyone with a tow truck, I could call them, but one, I don't know anyone with a tow truck, two, it was 10pm on a uh, Tuesday night almost 11 at this point, so who's going to be awake to come tow me? So I had to call my grandma and ask her if I could use my emergency credit card, which I had already had to use once this month because I locked my keys in my car. I, haven't, I don't think I've told that story yet, but I locked my keys in my car last 
Saturday night, so <laughs> I had to call her and help her get her help for that. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. My mouth is like really sticky right now because I just woke up. I'm about to get ready for work. But anyway, so I had to call her and ask her for help. He called me a tow truck. I waited like a half hour for the tow truck to get there. Then the tow truck came, laughed at me. They had to crack my bumper to lift my car about three feet in the air and then push it backwards. And after all that, guess how much it cost? Guess how much it cost for them to come and do this? Literally took him like five minutes. A hundred and twenty-two dollars to come lift my car in the air and push it backwards. They charged me forty dollars, forty-two dollars, I think, for how far they had to drive because it was like twenty-something miles. And then eighty dollars to use their special equipment. Eighty dollars because they had to wrap a chain around my car and lift it up in the air. Can I get into the towing business, please? That's freaking ridiculous. Like, oh my god. So, oh, a spawner. So I paid $40 in cash and I put the rest on my emergency credit card. It was ridiculous. I will include a video and a photo of the incident at the end of this video, so stay tuned. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Great. Oh, shoot. I didn't make my pants. Uh, is anyone nearby? I need to make my pants real quick. Don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me. Boom, shakalaka. Looking beautiful now. Let me dump out my poop. Yeah, that might have been the most ridiculous night of my life. It really might have. That person didn't even pursue me. They were coming, then they were like, oh, diamond pants? No, thank you. They just wanted to come pick up my pile of poop, I guess. Oh, don't you dare have a fishing rod. Don't do it. Oh, I got him. Yeah, that's right. You running scared now. Running right into the border. That's not a good place to be. No, it is not. Hello. You want some? I'm getting sandwiched. I'm getting sandwiched. 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 Diamond chest plate. Nope. Nope. Yeah, fight each other. Let me get that clean up, though. Let me get that. Oh, no. You weren't supposed to notice me. No. No, Alex. No. No, Alex, no, 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 oh, damn it. Oh, well. <sighs> anyway, proceed with the footage and photo from Tuesday night. So yeah, I'm a huge idiot. Let's just continue on with the terrible luck streak of 2016. Losing games, locking my keys out of my car, the internet being crap, freaking getting my car stuck on a curb. Like, what else is going to happen to me? What else? Please let 2016 start to improve. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.